Hey everyone, Grant Alexander here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be combining this ruler and this piece of plywood to make a jig for my table saw. The jig is going to allow me to make repeatable miter cuts so I can make picture frames more easily. So enough talking, let's get making. Now that I've made these table saw runners, in order to attach them to the sled, I have to support them above the table saw table. And in order to do that, I'm going to use these dimes. And this is how you do it. And with a little precision like that, you too can do it. Don't forget to pick up your dimes because that's like a dollar. And this is how you make money in woodworking. So it's really crucial to get this exact. It doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm putting it at 3.5 inches, but uh, it just matters that every measurement that you mark along this line is the same. So one thing I'm going to be doing differently than all the other jigs that I've seen made uh, is one, I'm going to be cutting off a lot of this back material because I find it just makes it really heavy on the back here and tippy. And uh, when I'm trying to cut stuff on the table saw, I don't want anything tippy.
I just wanted to pop back in here for a sec before I close out the video to give you a bit of a lessons learned. Uh, when I designed this, I only left the normal amount of uh, you know, three inches here, three and a half inches, whatever. Uh, I noticed that if I'm cutting really long board for framing, which sometimes happens, that they were really hard to support uh, once you're halfway through the cut. Uh, so I added this little bit right here. I just taped it on, but if you're going to design one of these and you have the space, uh, just make it longer on this side of the frame jig. That way it can support a longer piece. I hope you enjoyed that video where I made this picture frame making sled. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you want to see how it's used, I'm going to be using it in a future video, so all the more reason for you to subscribe. I really feel like this is the ultimate version of the picture frame making sled that uh, Fine Woodworking Magazine put out a few years ago. Uh, I'll leave a link to their build uh, in the description below, but I really feel like I took it to another level by adding the clear top to the stop block and that allows you to really dial in the measurements much easier because it's clear. The other thing is I added this extension wing at the back and that makes it so that when you're cutting really long boards that they don't fall off the table. Uh, I also cut this little bit out at the back and it makes a lot less weight and less tippy. If you're interested in making one of these, I'll leave a link to both Fine Woodworking Magazine, like I said below, and also David Picciuto from Make Something, he made one, and I'll leave a link to his video. So until next time, cheers, and have a great day.